Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Brent and I'm going to be doing a tutorial web series on Node.js as well as some modules uh, that the community has made for Node.js. We're going to be looking at web apps, websites, logins, all that kind of cool stuff, but the first thing we need to know is how to install and what you need to know uh, about that process. So go ahead and install at nodejs.org. Um, I've already downloaded it here and uh, I just wanted, it's the typical install, but I wanted to emphasize that you got to make sure that you add it to your path because we're going to be running it from the console and of course your computer needs to know where Node.js is installed. So go ahead and click through that. Um, I'm going to exit out. Uh, I've go at, went ahead and created a project folder and put a server.js file in there, just a blank file here. We'll go ahead and copy our example web server here and uh, paste it in, save that. I'll just go quickly over what's going on in here. This is a variable that is uh, importing the HTTP module into Node.js and HTTP is, uh, comes with Node. Um, we'll execute a function called uh, create server and it takes in a function that uh, responds with a header uh, that says the uh, response is good and that we're going to be sending plain text back to the client. And then, of course, it uh, also responds with uh, some plain text. We're just going to do some hello world. Um, after it creates the server, we're going to tell that server to go ahead and listen on port 1337. And our IP is basically our local host. Uh, we'll console uh, log that just to our console. And let's go ahead and just check that out really quick. Uh, so first thing you're going to do is shift right click to open command window in your projects just in case somebody didn't know that. Uh, node server.js. We'll see our server is running. Let's go to localhost and we'll do 1337. And you get your typical hello world app. That is a web server in like 35 seconds, I'm guessing. I don't know, I didn't do the math. But another thing that um, I wanted, I'm really emphasizing in my tutorials is basically where the docs are for certain things because a lot of new developers, they don't know how to search for uh, the answers when they don't know, you know even the questions sometimes. <laughs> so let's go to Node.js uh, in the docs. Um, we got about docs where this basically uh, will tell you where to find certain things. Tutorials. Um, the most important thing, uh, especially once you get a little more involved in it, is the API docs and what you can use. So let's look at what we just now used, the HTTP um, section. And then let's see, let's, do, let's look for what our create server does. Create server. Returns a new instance of an HTTP server. So uh, control F to, if you're in Chrome to pull up the search just in case. Um, so there you go. That's the first tutorial. Uh, there's going to be lots of new ones coming up. And uh, I want you to stick with me. The first few tutorials are about uh, basic modules that we're going to use. And then uh, we'll start off with our actual application uh, that we'll be working on, which is going to be an OAuth uh, login application for Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail. So um, stick with me and uh, catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.